This is a good restaurant. Three stars, you know. Really? Really? Good evening, sir. Good evening, madam. And if I may say, what a pleasure it is to see you here again, sir. If I may suggest, sir, that Flit McGon is one of the show's most famous creations. Well, that sounds good. Oh, by the way, can I have a bit of a dirty fork? Can I have another one? I beg your pardon. Oh, it's nothing. The fork is just dirty. Could you give me anyone? Thank you. Oh, sir, I do apologize. Oh, no need to apologize. It doesn't bother me. It's only a 34. Oh, no, no, no. I do apologize. I will get the head waiter immediately. Oh, there's no need to do that. Oh, no, no, no. I sure. The head waiter will want to apologize to you himself. Well, you certainly get good service here. They really look after you, yes. Excuse me, Monsieur and Madame. I'm the head waiter of the I've only just heard about the disaster. <laughs> May I look at the fork? Oh my word! It's nothing! I will find out who lost this and fire them immediately! No, no. Better still, we can't afford to take any chances. Fire the entire kitchen staff! Oh no, please. No trouble. It's good that you should point these kind of things out. And I know that. No apologies, I can fix the fact that in our restaurant, you've been giving a dirty, filthy, smelly utensil. It wasn't smelly. It was smelly and gross and disgusting and I hate it, I hate it. Filthy, dirty, smelly, scrubby, scrubby little fork. Oh! I need to go to the bathroom. Good evening, sir. I am the manager. I've only just heard about the disaster. May I sit down? Yes, of course. Ah, uh, you could find people for saying that, but I can see it. To me, it's like a vast bowl of pus. Oh, well, it's not as bad as that. It hurts my heart! I can't give you any excuses for it. There are no excuses. I've been meaning to spend more time in a restaurant recently, but I've been sick. Things aren't going very well back there. The cook's son has been put in jail again, and poor Mrs. Dalrymple, who does the dishes, can hardly move her arthritic fingers. And then there's Gilberto's war wounds. But the good people, the kind people, together we are beginning to get over this dark patch. There was light at the end of the tunnel, then this fog came. It's the end of the road! You morons! You heartless, intensive morons! Look what you've done to him! He's worked his fingers to the bone to make this place what it is, and you come in with your petty complaining and break his heart. This fine, honorable man whose boots you are not worthy to kiss. Oh, this makes me mad! Mad! Easy, Chef! Chef, easy! Chef, the end! The end! They destroyed him. He's gone insane. They broke him. Easy, Chef. Easy, Chef. Now for the punchline. Well, sir, I think I have all of the information of the crime. Anything you'd like to add? I'm just glad I didn't say anything about the dirty spoon. <laughs> <laughs>